Hi everyone, it's Michelle from Country Morning Creations. I am here with my February flow journal. I'm super excited about this because I did an experiment. I actually glued fabric to a piece of cardstock and then printed on it. So it's kind of hard to tell, but this is actually fabric that I have printed over. And so um, I have a tutorial on this and I most likely will post it over on my Instagram account because it is, I recorded it vertically instead of horizontally. So I can't tack it to the end of this. I may just post it separately also here on YouTube for you on how I did this. But anyway, the other thing that really excites me about this cover is some of these gorgeous pieces. So there's a little bit of, it's not really a polka dot Swiss, but it's got some, some bumps on it, if you will. And there's this gorgeous dusty rose or blush color and another piece of lace here. And then this is actually some quilting that I've glued to the paper. This is um, just some sorry silk that I already had, but these pieces are all from my friend Amy Freeman over who is Flo She May Designs. And so on Etsy, her Etsy shop is Flo She May Designs and on IG, she's Flo She May Cottage. If you are not following her, you need to be following her now because she has fabulous stuff. So I purchased one of her blush, uh, it was like a grouping of different fabrics and things that uh, went all together. Anyway, she has a beautiful eye for things that go really well together. And so I grabbed one of her bundles, her blush bundles, and that's what a lot of this is from. Now, this is actually an add-on that I have created to go with my um, Regency Rose digital kit. And I'm struggling right now currently to get it up online because of country internet, but I will let you know as soon as it is on. So this image also is from that same kit. And then this is just a little Tim Holtz heart and I did put some lace on the spine. I actually left the back blank. I know backs of blank, Backs of books should neither be blank nor boring. I really felt like this one was not boring at all due to the design on the paper. <clears throat> so I love it. Now I have already started the month of February when I'm recording this. I, tr I actually thought I had recorded this before I'd put anything in my journal and I went back to post it and discovered half the video was missing. Um, no idea what happened, it just shut off. So these things happen. So now you're going to get to see a few extra things I've already done in this journal. So you can see on the inside here, I did stitch everything down. If I had done this as a separate piece of cardboard, I could have put this over it and covered all the stitching. I didn't, and I like it just the way it is. This piece is coming up. I probably need to put some glue on it. It was a sticky. This is my cover page for February, which I use, um, Planning Janny. She's just Planning Janny on Instagram and also on her Patreon or Patreon account. Uh, so I get her digital kits every month, but this I thought was perfect. Quote of the day, this is actually a Tim Holtz. She said, that's a lot of money to spend on crafts and I knew we couldn't be friends. So that was my quote of the week in here. <clears throat> and then I'll show you a little bit of what I've already done. So one of the things I do is I do a little bit of collaging every day. And so that was yesterday. Today is already February 2nd. And there's a little bit of collaging there. And then on these extra pages that I have, sometimes I will also do collaging on those. <clears throat> the rest of this, sorry, I've got a frog in my throat. The rest of this is all my um, 28 pound coffee dyed paper that is acid neutralized. I've acid neutralized the coffee that goes in it and you'll see in the description box below, there's a link for that as well as a page from Outlander, which I'm an Outlander fiend. I printed, this is more from that kit and I printed this on vellum. I just think that looks so pretty. And then this was an over coffee dyed. It's really not that old just an over coffee dyed customer's order receipt. And I did my five hole pamphlet stitch, which 
I actually prefer a five hole to a three hole. I feel like it holds everything together better. Theoretically, you could even do a seven hole if you wanted to add an extra set of holes just to hold everything in. So that is my February journal and it goes inside my reusable book cover. I went to creating reusable book covers because I hated having a big, beautiful journal that every month I would simply put away the whole thing. By doing this, then I create single signature, basically traveler's notebook size journals to go inside of it. And then it's simply held in by <clears throat> a piece of blue ribbon on in this case, but there's a variety of things that it could be tied in with, including um, including elastic even. And again, um, I love writing with brown ink. I use fountain pens, exactly. These are, uh, I like fountain pens because what I found was that I would get about halfway through, I do so much writing, I would get about halfway through a month and have to throw a pen away. I hated doing that, so I went to using fountain pens and buying bottles of ink, and now I'm not even throwing away cartridges. Um, I just, when I finally am done with all the ink, then I get, I get a new bottle of ink and put that in there. So this just goes in real easily and quickly. So if you are interested in learning how to make your own reusable book cover with an, a matching uh, traveler's notebook to go on the inside and then I even have how to make a binder for six months to bind all of these together so then I have everything in one place if you're interested in all of that or you're interested in this digital kit so this is all from that digital kit too these are all things that you can fussy cut out to do collaging with and more of the different papers uh, if you're interested in either one of those, those are over on my Etsy shop. And be careful because I do have a different kit that looks just like this, and it's Daphne's Diary. Those run 90 degrees on the pages to, to what these do. So be careful that you're if you want this one, it's Regency Rose, not Daphne's Diary. You'll have that's a totally separate kit. Anywho. Check them out. They're over on my Etsy shop. And I hope I've encouraged you to be creative today.